Happy Friday and welcome back to the latest episode of the Laura and Becky Show sponsored by Redbrook Estate Agents, Ringwood Hall Hotel and Spa and Clubhouse in Meadowhall. Thank you very much. If you're one of our OGs, you know who you are. If you're new here, then uh, welcome along. Welcome, welcome. No, I was going to say welcome to the ride. Come along well, for the ride. What it is, is it? It is a bit of a crazy ride. It is a bit, but you are more than welcome to be here. I'm a little bit hungover today. I'm not going to lie. Well, our tummies are rumbling, like literally, because like, we're hungry, aren't we? So hungry. I think that's what it was. Obviously, we were at Clubhouse in Meadowhall last night. Um, I think we hadn't eaten properly. And you know what it's like when you haven't eaten? You've got an empty stomach. You start having a few wines, a few cocktails. Yeah. It's lethal. Lethal. I went to bed. Well, I did something last night. I never do. Went to bed with my makeup on. Yeah, me too. I went to bed with false eyelashes on and my extensions in. Oh, <laughs> we are we are a mess. I mean, who yeah. are we? Yeah. Oh, so, it's yeah. just absolutely exhausted. Um, <clears throat> we love our events. We love them, but we have to host for what was it yesterday? Four hours. Yeah. It's exhausting. <laughs> I think when you have to like talk to people or oh. look after people. It's knackering. It's a bit like on your wedding day, isn't it? Because you know you've got yes. so many people you have to talk to. Yeah. You, you start to get jaw ache. Yeah. And you're well, knackered. Yeah. I mean, uh, I especially, I find it, when I when I get, not bored of talking to someone, but when I've been talking and talking and talking, I find eye contact quite difficult. <laughs> I'm a bit like, oh God, I can't be able to look at you anymore. If you were talking to Laura last no, night yeah, and she no. started looking around the room and you sort of lost her, yeah, you, that's you know what, that's yeah. the point where it happened. The the worst of it is that, and I know you're. we've talked about this this morning, we wore heels last night, didn't we? Yeah, no, we never normally wear heels. We live in trainers. Yeah. And I'm going to say it now. I'm Laura Summers. I'm not wearing heels anymore. I mean, I'm not going to go that far. I'm not going to be like, that's it, I'm done. I'm never going to wear another heel. But it was an effort. Unless I'm night. sat down. Yeah. I'm not putting heels well, on. So if you go for dinner, where you literally, you just wear your heels, but you're sat yeah, down the whole night, in, it's fine. sit down, yeah. I think the thing was last night, we have quite a lot of equipment we have to take with us for the podcast, obviously, like to set up. So there's a little wheelie suitcase. There's a big pull-up banner. There's a yeah. ring light. There's bags full of like mics and things. Yeah. So we had to totter through Meadowhall last night in our heels and our ridiculous little outfits. Yeah. Um, with all of our equipment. And then obviously again at the end. So our feet were absolutely killing, yeah. weren't they? Uh, so painful so when we left uh, Meadowhall we'd parked really close to an exit just because we had so much stuff anyway the door was locked so the security guard was like you need to you need to use the other exit so I was like okie doke Becky not 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 so happy I, you literally like what? <laughs> do you know what it was? I, I kind of lost it a bit. You at that did. Point I was last like, night. God. Um, what it was? Um, Meadow Hall was pretty much empty because we were the last. No to one leave. there. Nobody there, which was a bit weird in itself, wasn't it? They still play their music. Yeah, being in a shopping centre when nobody's there is a little bit eerie. I a little think. bit. Yeah. Anyway, so we were leaving. Security car was there. It could have been a bit more helpful. I'm just going to say that. We we were two ladies with a lot of stuff yeah. and heels on. And he sent us off on a wild goose chase somewhere. He went, uh, it's the uh, the exit near Zara. And you went, which, and, and what I love is you say exit instead of Egg, exit. Exit. You went, which exit is that? What do you well, mean? Is it past he Zara? He didn't say by Zara at first. He oh. went, it's just the one down there. Oh. And I thought... You Not ain't. tonight, buddy. <laughs> I thought, I'm going to need a little bit more help than that. I was like, can you be a little more specific, pal? Oh, it was funny. Anyway, off we totter and then we're like, nah. So we take our shoes off. We are walking across Meadowhall Car Park in flat feet, barefoot like Zola Bud. <laughs> Do you remember Zola Bud? No, who's Zola Bud? <laughs> <laughs> she was an athlete used to run in barefoot. Oh, that was us. I don't know why. I, I like. I don't remember anything I did like yesterday, but I can remember Zola Bud. How weird is that? Anyway, uh, yeah, there we were walking barefoot about eleven thirty last night. Yeah, and we had to. I mean, it wasn't just sort of like you know just across the car park. We had to go the whole stretch of yeah. one of the car parks at yeah. Meadowhall. Yeah, I was not happy, but we made it. <laughs> We live to tell the tale. So let's just um, rewind a little bit. So no more heels for Laura oh, Summers. Oh, God. 
Unless I'm sitting down, no. I think what I'm going to do is, uh, my sister said this actually, just invest in a really, really nice pair of like trainers or something like that because I, I'm out. It's I'm too out. much effort. I'm out. What's going on in the world then? Oh, God. Oh. God. <sighs> Crikey. Can you believe it? No. A year ago since... Uh, they invaded Ukraine. And when I say they, I mean, you know what I mean. You know we're talking about. I mean, I actually can't believe it's been a year. It kind of feels like longer, but it kind of doesn't. Well, I remember <clears throat> last, I remember it specifically because I got my hair extensions put in and it was Russian hair. And I was like, oh, it doesn't feel right. Were you... I didn't get on with those extensions either, Becky, did I? No, you didn't. But also, you um, went a little bit funny, didn't you, when the war started? Oh, terrified. You, Laura thought she would be living in a bunker. She thought her and her daughters would have to run. I was trying to, to think where we could go. Yeah, to get in a bunker. So for about two weeks, you lost the plot, and then you kind of like, you were okay. <laughs> um, but that was a year ago. That kind of feels like longer, though, no? Do you think that's I don't like? know, really. I don't know what a year feels like anymore, if I'm honest. No. But, um, yeah, a year. A year. A whole year. And it's year. still going on. Still what going about on. Biden going, visiting last week? I read about that. He went on a train for 10 hours, stayed there for four hours, got the 10-hour train back. How did he What get a mission. In? Yeah. Well, the guy that r- that runs the security team that got him there and back was like, it's the biggest thing they've ever done. The pl- I mean, imagine that. I mean, that train carriage he was in must have been bomb-proof, fire-proof, yeah, God knows what proof. Yeah. But I he mean, must good have been on terrified. him. For- imagine, imagine sat on a train, you know it's going to be 10 hours. So 10 hours in, 10 hours back. You'd be terrified for all of those 20 hours, wouldn't you, that you are yeah. going to be killed. Do you think he went on a train because a plane was too... Well, they'd have spotted it, wouldn't they? Mate, I've, those, got, I've got no idea. I think they'd have spotted it. <sighs> um, my, uh, actually, no, never mind. <laughs> This is my this is my hungover brain trying to think. I'm, no, I'm not going to tell that story. Another thing that's happened. Let's let's move on. Um, another thing that's happened is there's been an episode of EastEnders um, a few days ago this week that has blown my tiny little mind. Now let's just say this: we don't watch EastEnders. Well, no. I I don't think I've watched it since like 1999. Mm-hmm. Um, you've watched a couple of episodes mm-hmm. over Christmas. You? Yeah, it's quite good over Christmas. Mm. Um, they whoever thought of this idea. It, it needs an award. Basically, what they did it was a, it was a it was one of those special episodes where it's just in the Queen Vic. Sorry, what have I done? Are we've you been, right? Sorry, we've been talking about this, haven't we, for a while <laughs> behind the scenes? Like, off yeah. the pod, you've been telling me. I dreamt about it last night. You've just as you were talking about. I was like, hang on a minute. I actually dreamt about EastEnders last did night. You? What, what you've told me, yeah. Oh, yeah. well, it was a special episode in the Queen Vic. It was very like anti men. It's like, man, man. Anyway, it ended up being a lock-in with a few of the women. Kathy was there, Sharon was there, Stacey was there. Oh, I can't remember the names of the other ones. Anyway, um, they're like, yeah, let's do a cheers to her men. May they never put us down again or something. And they all go, <laughs> cheers. And then the screen goes blank. And then it fast forwards. It comes up Christmas 2023. The Queen Vic is just decked out in Christmas stuff and they're all stood around a dead body and it's a man. One of them's got like a bottle in her hand. Stacey's got blood on her hand. Sharon's in a wedding dress. She leans forward, takes his pulse and you see his cuff link. And I'm like, that's a clue. And then she looks up and she goes, he's dead. And it ends. Boom, 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 Me- boom, boom, I, I boom. honestly was like, that is brilliant. We have had a glimpse of the of EastEnders at Christmas. So they've basically jumped nearly a whole year ahead, haven't yep. they, to Christmas Day. Yep. Do you think they filmed yep. Christmas Day 2023 already? Maybe, or? maybe. But I think mad, they film it? Christmas in the summer anyway. I think the episodes yeah. are quite, well, maybe not in summer, but quite far ahead. But I was just, that is brilliant. That is such a good idea. I have to say, this would make me watch EastEnders. Yeah. I haven't watched it for so long. This would make me watch you it back now. in, love. I think I might be back in with Enders, right. yeah. Oh. Because the thing is, like, now you're watching it and it's a who done it, and you're looking for clues. Yes. It, honestly, well done, EastEnders. 
Right. Mate. 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 So I um, took Lily to the cinema mm-hmm. um, on Tuesday night, was it this week? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, to see Puss in Boots, which is mm-hmm. really good, by the way. Obviously, when I have to go and see kids films, I'm kind of like, meh, you know, I take Lily because she wants to see them. It was very funny. Was A lot it? of famous names in it. Very, very funny. Is it still What's His Face? Does the um, voice for Puss in Boots? Puss What's it called? Puss in Boots. What's it called, though? What's, um, the, what's, the, cat, jo- no, what's right. the cat called? Puss in Boots. Well, that's his actual name, Puss in Boots. Yes, Puss in Boots. <laughs> yeah, you have to say it like, you've got to go Puss in Boots. He's like, Puss in Boots. <laughs> that's his name? Yeah. Oh. He's Puss in Boots. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it was really good. It's actually a really funny film. Um, next to us, right, <laughs> um, was a couple. Mm-hmm. They were probably, I would say, in their 50s, man and a woman. They sat right next to us and I thought, oh, right. And you always note when people haven't got kids, when it's like a kid's movie. Yeah. And I sort of looked, I thought, no kids, but all right. Anyway, they pulled out a bottle of red wine oh. and they were sat there, literally, I mean, they finished this bottle of wine during the movie, pouring it up, having a great time, laughing their heads off. I did oh. think it was slightly odd. That would annoy me. When you say laughing, how loud are they laughing? Well, mate, this was the thing, right? So... <laughs> <laughs> I'm quite used to going to the cinema with people who laugh quite loudly, but they were very loud. Mm. I mean, maybe because they got a little bit tiddly because they were having wine. Yeah. They were like, ah, ha, ha, ha. I think the guy at one point slapped his leg because it was wow. that funny. Yeah. But I have to say, Lily, my daughter, she's very loud in the cinema. So she will talk to me loud and she'll be like, Mummy, I love this bit. And I'm like, Babes, sh- whisper. Oh, God. But she laughs very loudly as well. Her dad as well, um, so my ex-husband, used to laugh very, nah. very loudly in the out. cinema. I'd be shushing him. I used to have a friend as well, Dangerous Die, well, still is my friend, um, who, also, who also used to be the loudest person I have ever known in the cinema. No. Oh, mate, you've never known anything like it. Roaring. No. Roaring with you laughter. You can't do that. You need to be more self-aware. I don't know what it is, but I seem to have a lot of people around me who like to laugh out loud in the cinema. I don't even like the... I mean, I get the rustling of the sweets because you have to get your sweets out of a bag, but I even hate that. I don't like... I, I would be furious. I don't know why, but when I hear like a rustle or when I do, it makes me laugh. Get, like, yeah. Ruffle, yeah. Ruffle. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, I can't. You have to be... I have to say, when I used to take the girls and they were younger to cinema, I used to hate it because kids can't keep quiet. I mean, no. A bit of it like, shut up. Yeah. Well, especially when you go to a kid's show because there's kids oh, everywhere. They're, everywhere. They're running around. They're yeah. in and out to the they toilet. Get bored. They're bored. Da- you know, they're like the floor next to the screen. They're dancing around there, aren't they? And crying. And- yeah, you can't. If you're going to the cinema, you need to sh- hush. You need to sh- just shush. Well, I feel like I'm quite a quiet cinema goer, but for some reason... You go with the loud ones. I go with the loud ones, mate, yeah. Oh, God. Um, I saw, talking of cinemas, there's a cinema that's opening, can't remember where it is. They're all double beds. We no, need to go. No, absolutely not. Mate, we absolutely need to go. I don't want to go to, go to a cinema. You remember that story you just told me about the man in the car with the coats? <laughs> <laughs> yes. That's what's going to happen in that cinema. So absolutely, it's going to be an orgy. I'm not being funny. I'm not being funny. You're in the cinema. It goes completely dark. You can't really, you know, the cinema's quite loud, so you can't pay. And people in double beds. I'm telling you now, if people are doing what we're talking about, they will be doing that without the beds. People on the back row. No, I know, but they'll be up to. But it's not so. There's just something about lying in a bed with but other people watching a film. Imagine if it's a, a saucy sex scene. That place is going to go wild. <laughs> if you go and see Magic Mike or Fifty Shades yeah. of Grey, uh, oh, it's going to be like an orgy in what? there. Yeah. I'm telling you. But do you remember no. when we went to see um, the latest James Bond film? Yes. We had those lovely reclining chairs. Yes. And it was, I think it was winter when we went. So it was quite cold. We had big coats. And yes. Clothes. That was almost like being in a bed. I would love to be in a bed. But you have at to cinema. sit up to drink. You can't. Uh, but you just like lift your head up, just put it. Like, oh, no. I'm I'm here for the beds. I need a blanket and a pillow as well. Oh, you. <laughs> then I'd be well away. Absolutely, you're fully clothed. It's weird. Why I'm here you... for it. No, absolutely not. I'm no. here for the bed in the cinema. No, no, no. 
Right, what a week it's been. The first week of season seven. Um, thank you so much for bloody getting in touch if you have. Yes, thank you for the downloads we've had. Yes. Everyone tagging us on social media. Everyone who shares the podcast with their friends. We see it all and we really, really appreciate it. Yeah, just very quickly as well. Ringwood Hall Hotel and Spa. Mother's Day is coming up. They've got an offer on at the moment. It's a great offer. It's £50 per person. All the details are actually, I won't go into it, all the details on their website. So if you're thinking of a Mother's Day present... That would be a great one. Absolutely. We've got a bit of a boozy weekend. So oh we had God. a night out last night at Clubhouse Sheffield. Um, we also go out tonight and tomorrow. Yeah. We will hopefully be back on Monday. Have a good weekend. <laughs>